G'day CQ Beach Girls, Shannon here from FBA. Just wanted to talk to you about marine turtles today. Over the past few years we've been monitoring marine turtles and there are hundreds that nest on the Capricorn and Curtis Coast. Basically every beach on our coastline is marine turtle habitat. FBA receives funding from the Australian Government's National Land Care Program to reduce threats to marine turtles along our coastline and improve the community's capacity and knowledge of how to conserve those species. It's really easy to get involved. All you need to do is come down to the coast, walk along the beach and keep your eyes peeled for a marine turtle track. So right now you're looking at a couple of examples of marine turtle tracks that have actually happened along our coastline. So what you'll find is flipper marks. Going up along the beach, heading towards the dunes. A hot tip, early in the morning is the best time to discover the fresh tracks. We're going to pretend that this is where we found our track today and I'm going to show you what you need to do to capture some data so that we can report that as part of our program. So some of the best information we can get is in a form of a photo. So what you want to do is take a photo heading the track up the beach, across the track on both sides, and heading back down, trying not to disturb the track as much as possible. Another important piece of information is the width of the track. So on your sheets it'll ask for that. One way you can do it without a measuring tape is just use your foot and measure how many foot widths it was across. When you get back to the office or your home, measure your foot and then it'll tell you how wide the track was. So sometimes you'll notice the track will come most of the way up the beach, but then stop before it gets to the dune and turn back and head towards the water. That's important information as well. It means that the femur has likely not nested. As part of the project, we've developed a nice little simple spreadsheet for you to fill out. Basically, it asks for the simple stuff like date, and time, and location. Location is really key. If you can get a GPS point of where the track is and potentially where the nest is, that data is very important. If you can't get a GPS point, just try your best to describe where it was based on local landmarks. So here's a pretend nest. You found it, that's great. Please make sure you don't go too close to it. There are heavy penalties for interfering with turtle nests. You wanna get a couple of good pictures of this as well. Now, on your spreadsheet, it asks for things for you to try and observe. Did the female make it up and into the dune safely or was it down in the lower part, which is not so great? Can you see any other possible threats like light, uh, pedestrian traffic, dogs, foxes, many other things, it's all on the form. So you found a track and a nest, that's wonderful. Now what you need to do is fill in the details and contact Carl French on the details on your screen now. So I hope this video helps. We look forward to hearing from you over the coming weeks as marine turtles make their way up onto our beaches.